Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I want to thank you all for tuning and tapping into this bonus read. This is a bonus because the last reading kind of direct it went into the direction of love. Um, and I really want to focus on just the energy, like, you know, spiritual energy, what's coming in outside of potential love. That message has been coming up very frequently. So I want to make it a point to focus on energy outside of love. Um, I meditated for a few moments before this reading. I had the opportunity to capture the 444 um, time. So spirit was definitely in the building just as I asked. I just want to show you a picture because y'all know Q likes to show and prove, beloved. I don't talk because I have lips. I like to show and prove. So this was the time capture. I don't know why it's doing that. Let me get this here. Okay, there we go. So if you look right here, it shows you February what? 23rd, 444. Four, four. So that's how you know this message was for you because I literally was in meditation uh, before I click play. I like to make sure to, uh, you know, channel or to really uh, ground my energy before I start channeling messages and utilizing the cards and the music um, and my own intuition. I like to connect, you know, with source, direct with source. And so I really called for us to have a more profound message, even though that message yesterday was lovely because it wasn't really just mushy love, like, oh my God, it's going to be so busy. It was really focusing more so, in my opinion, on a spiritual connection, uh, which could be anything, you know, but it was, you know, spirit wanted to make it very apparent that whatever was coming in, that this, this was love. It was someone that loves you. It was someone that cares. And it will develop into, um, you know, a very spiritual union uh, as well. So today, as I said, for this bonus reading, we're just going to check on energy, period. Um, I will you all a bliss. I will everyone is feeling amazing. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I send each and every one of you beautiful souls, peace, power, and protection. You know what I'm talking about. To anyone that may be new, welcome, beloveds. Um, if you found yourself here, I will that you stay a while. I will that the reading resonates. I will that my energy, you know, locks in with yours and that you enjoy the reading, enjoy the ride. Uh, my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones meaning if the reading does not apply let it fly by do not try to force a story to be your story if it does not belong to you also whenever you found this reading well that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so beloved so let's go ahead um so one of the messages that came out because I saw that 444 was you're, you're definitely divinely protected. Um, and I heard the word ordained um, initiation when I heard that, uh, that when I heard um, you're divinely protected, I was hearing ordained, you know, because that 444 reduces to 12. You know, four times four times four is 12, and that 12 reduces to three. And threes are all about strength, courage, and wise dome. That's associated with the Empress in traditional tarot, uh, the major arcana of the Empress. That's also an energy of a divine feminine. If you're masculine, that would be the Emperor, and that is the energy of the divine masculine uh, we all have to balance both masculine and feminine energy uh, that's why it's imperative not to focus so much on the gender of the card but really more so on the energy and being as though that emperor and uh, empress energy are one in the same uh, you all this is applicable to all 
So the Empress energy is a very powerful, self-aware, knows their worth, strong, confident, attractive, wise, maternal, paternal, uh, very beautiful vibrations and energy. She embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens, uh, as does the emperor. He embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the kings in Tarot. So the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the King of Wands, the King of Swords. Uh, so this is that energy that is really um, reached a level of self-mastery, tapped into Christ consciousness, to that God frequency. So they know how to master manifest. They know the opportune times to master manifest. They're very strategic, very passionate, um, and they don't back down easily. Uh, this energy is very maternal, as I said, very nurturing, um, protective. So that's like, you know, a leader, you know, it's a born leader, if you will. So that energy is what I'm picking up immediately uh, just from that 444. And whenever you have that type of, of, of um, entrance into a reading where I saw the 444, um, I know it's going to be a good ride. I know you all are uh, definitely covered. You're protected, as I said, uh, because you all have done your work. I feel that you all are starting to uh, believe that as well. It's, it's deeper than someone telling you this and then you, you know, just accepting it than it is you actually knowing this. You have a knowingness of this information that I am disseminating. So this is just you seeking confirmation, um, you seeking affirmation even, you know, and it's just claim it, claim it, beloveds, because you've done the work. All I'm here to do is to deliver a message and you all have to do the rest, you know, so that's the way it works on this side of the planet. Um, if you like the reading, if you enjoy the reading, if you found that the messages resonated with you, um, don't be shy, hit the like button, you know, that's the way things work here. To get the video and algorithms, you have to hit the like button, you have to subscribe um, if you want to grow the channel, that's, that's a you option, I'm not forcing nobody's hand, um, it's always a beautiful thing. Um, when I check my stats, I see that there's a lot of onlookers and these onlookers aren't subscribed, but yet you're here. Welcome beloveds, I hope you find what you're looking for, but it costs you nothing to hit the like button, you know what I'm talking about? Um, and, and the subscribe while you're down there, um, because that's the way things work here. And we, as you know, uh, creatives, uh, we, we utilize, especially me, because I do deep dive readings. I don't give you a 15 minute read and no diss to anybody that does. But what I am saying is I go, uh, a little deeper into, um, the messages, you know, and, uh, I take a lot of my very precious time to create these videos and the least I uh, ask is for you all to reciprocate by showing love definitely subscribe um, and if you feel so inclined you can share the video but I digress uh, I also have an Etsy shop so you will find the link to that in my um, description box below and we're gonna go proceed with read our shade so Let's go ahead um, and let me give you a little spiel before we delve into the reading also for those newcomers. Um, the way that I do things on my side of the planet is I channel messages intuitively. I am also an empath and I'm also clairaudience so I will be playing music throughout, throughout the duration of the reading. And the way that it works is the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the uh, video. It will all correlate to what I am channeling intuitively and it all just kind of, and as well as what the cards are showing. And it just blends beautifully. Um, so that's the way things are working on my side of the planet. Um, again, I will you all are blissed to all of my beloveds that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love is love is love. Had to give y'all some extra love because I love y'all that much. Infinitely beloved. 
never ends so let's go ahead and do some house cleaning shall we I call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother Gaia universe source the divine to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light I call personally upon Baba Obatala Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mo it be beloved ah shay ah shay ah shay oh all right so let's see what we got on the time stamp for the clock so it's 5 10 so that's six so six is giving me six of swords victory i mean i said six of swords maybe some of y'all are moving I'm hearing some of y'all are moving away and that's why you feel victorious because you got away from something. Um, but I was initially trying to say the uh, six of wands, you know, so that that is the vi the victory and the breakthrough. Some of you all could be uh, working with Baba Ogun or Baba Olegua to open the roads, the pathways for you, perhaps in your career or even just in life in general. Um, that could be your spiritual father or your spiritual father's. Um, Baba Olegua or Baba Ogun. Um, I definitely am getting a sense. Let me charge up my phone because it looks like it's about to die. And I need my music. I got to have my music. All right. So I'm going to have to keep this on the low low so it doesn't pick up too much here. Let me see. I'll put it over here like that. Yeah. So I'm feeling like, you know, there's a victory ahead. And I was feeling that even in the reading yesterday. Um, definitely vic victory vibes, you know, doing the work and now reaching this, 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 this place where, um, you feel like you've, you've accomplished some things. You feel accomplished in your life. You feel like you've overcome some major, major battles and it's enough for you to really even pat yourself on the back because, you know, a year ago, um, you weren't the person you are standing here today. Uh, you know, and it's just a, a story of, of just really, uh, resilience, you know, really just speaking to you persevering and achieving things, even when you had all odds betting against you. And it's a beautiful feeling when you come out on the other side and you can look back in awareness and see how far you've come. And that's a very, very uh, honorable place, very beautiful uh, place or position to be in. So I really, I, I humbly bow to y'all that they've, have been doing, you know, the work because it has not, it's not easy, you know, especially in this climate. Uh, it isn't easy to stay the course. It isn't easy to not get distracted by all the distractions. I mean, that's if you're just beginning um, the journey. It could be very, you know, daunting. Um, and even overwhelming, you know, because you feel like, dang, I got to do this. I got to do that. You know, it just feels like it, it's just not fun to be awoke, you know, to be woke. But it's really just about freeing yourself from this ma of tricks and not feeling like because you have certain things that society may deem uh, define success. Um, that you're somehow not successful because you don't have those things. It's really freeing your mind. It's really reprogramming your mind to think for yourselves. And the only way you could truly think for you, from yourself is when you connect to your higher self. Your higher self has to be your guide. Not a TV network, not a celebrity in a movie or rhyming a song or singing a tune. It has to come from your own Christ consciousness. And when you free yourself from that illusion, that's when you can really feel like you've accomplished things because you realize then that all those other things were just, it was an ill use of your ions. My daughter thought of that amazing um, wordplay, you know, and um, I was like, I'm snatching that one, daughter water. 
In fact, she gave it to me. She was like, oh, this is this this sounds like something you would do, you know, because I I always break words down. I like to break them down, <laughs> you know, break them down and then build them back up to mean exactly what I want it to mean, not what, you know, it, they want it to mean, you know, because everything has an, an energy and vibration. Um, and I've explained this before, but I'll explain it again just for the sake of the newcomers. Uh, certain words I don't use. I don't say things like good morning, hello. Um, I don't know when the last time I've said those words because I've, I've stopped using them for years. Like I, I just don't say those things. <laughs> you know, I, I replace it with words of a higher vibration and frequency. So for instance, for when other people are saying good morning all day, I'm, I'm saying good day. You know, um, I'm even saying, you know, uh, grand rising sometimes. I find myself saying that sometimes, but I never say good morning, you know, because morning is, that's one of those words, that, you know, you got to study that etymology of words to understand, you know, what you're saying, you know, what you're speaking upon other people. We all know words are spells, spells bind. So you have to be mindful of the words that you're speaking upon others, especially your family, your loved ones. You know, you cast in spells and don't even know it. Uh, another word I recently uh, rid myself of was humble. Um, to be humble is to, you know, to think of yourself in, in a very negative state. You know, it's like you're, you're bowing down even when you may not even believe you need to. You know, so that's almost to me very, very uh, not, not fickle, but like almost being meek, you know, like you're being meek. Uh, so I replace it with honored you know, instead of saying humble. So I'm still learning as I go because learning is a lifelong, infinite journey until you're called, you know, until your time is up and you're called to do work in the spirit realm. But I digress. So I send love and light to each and every one of you beautiful souls. As I said, I will that this message resonates for you all. Six, I was getting victory. I was getting success. I'm getting breakthroughs. I'm also seeing people moving away. Maybe some of you all are relocating. Um, moving from one town to another, maybe you're moving out of the country. I know a lot of people are leaving the states. Um, a lot of people are moving abroad. Uh, they go into places like Peru. They go into places like Mexico. Some folks are taking it and packing it up, going to Africa. Um, but I see a lot of of exits, you know, exit plans. And um, one would wonder, you know, uh, I know I I, I um, flirt with that idea as well, like. You know, I, I think of work, living abroad because it just seems like I'm living in the twilight zone. You know, things that I just it's like I'm seeing different things. Like I never thought that thing life would decline, you know, the way that it has or society, I should say. I'm not going to include myself in that nonsense. But society has declined so much that it really is uh, very troubling to think where we are going to be in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, uh, if we keep at this rate, you know, if things are going on at the current rate, at the current um, state, it's like, where we, where are we going to be, you know? And I feel like it's worse here in the States. That's my humble op opinion. I can only speak to what I live every day. I don't know how it is abroad, um, but I do know that there's a lot of the foods we in here in we're ingesting in this country, it's banned in other states, you know. Uh, so I know they're not poisoning they folks, you know. So that's a starter for me. Um, but yeah, you know, movement, a lot of movement. Uh, I see victory, as I said. Uh, six is also associated with the lovers, um, uh, and the lovers isn't solely just about a love connection. It could be. A work dynamic, a partnership, business partnership. Uh, you could come into partnership or build some sort of alliance with your soul tribe. Maybe you'll be working with others, uh, collaborating with others uh, for a common goal. Uh, but this is really like just coming together in a very necessary union. And it's foreseen uh, or overseen, I should say, by your angels. So there is perhaps 
uh, a reason for this you know there's there's something deeper and more profound that I feel you're here to do called to do that's come out a lot in the past year um, in the past year and change uh, that you all are the chosen ones that you all have an anointing on your lives and you know I'm preaching to the choir half the time and I'm speaking to y'all a lot of you have uh, definitely said yeah that's me I've always felt that some of you all have um, been just awakening to that truth uh, so you could be really just right now in that energy of right like really just like honing certain skills you know uh, maybe you're networking right now to to push a product or to get a product out there maybe you're looking for distribution for a product uh, but I see I see forward movement I see victory I see you moving away from the nonsense the negativity the negative Nancy's and Debbie Downers lying ass Larry's I see you cutting yourself free and um, bolting the hell up out of there and, and there's just new energy, beautiful new energy. Things are more stable, more solid. Um, you feel more sustainable, you know, wherever you have packed up and moved to. I feel like it's because it's, it's, it's a safe space for you. You've created that safe space, a safe haven, so to speak. Um, and you are treating your new environment, your new digs, you know, your new home as a sanctuary. So you don't just invite anybody into your home. You don't just um, do anything in your home. You, you you treat your home as if it's a sanctuary, as it's is it, because it is typically like your temple. It's where you're gonna do the majority of your praying and your meditating. That's where you're preparing your food. That's where you're you're um, instilling uh, discipline and, and wisdom into your children. So it should be treated as such, you know, as a temple, as your body should be. So it's really a, a space. I feel that's really um, your safe space. It's just it's a safe space for you. So that's a beautiful, beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. So my beautiful Scorpios enough of me talking seven on the clock right now just as I've completed my diatribe so seven so moving on just like I said chariot energy um, but that's also giving me like the seven of Pentacles because that seven of Pentacles is like you know finally like having that hard work that you've been putting in all that hard you know time that you've been putting in towards specific goals or towards a business endeavor it's like now you're gonna see your hard work paying off there's gonna be like reward and recognition uh, that chariot is like movement you know powering ahead um, and it's because you found that confidence you found your your mojo you know uh, you got your you got your, your groove back so to speak you know you you you've rediscovered yourself or re uh, yeah rediscovered you know you rediscovered yourself because you you may have lost yourself along the way we all do you know but you gave yourself a grace period to to get back to one and that's a very beautiful thing so I love it so we have here playing Michelle and Deo cello and this is called Andromeda and the Milky Way so a lot of you all are going to be very very successful I see stardom I'm hearing stardom I'm also hearing wish fulfillment when I think of you know Andromeda and the Milky Way I'm thinking of you know the stars I'm thinking of being out in space uh, so maybe there's a sense of like you are going to really uh, start receiving some sort of uh, wish fulfillment you're gonna start having your prayers answered uh, others may see you as a star you know that that victory and that 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 breakthrough that I'm picking up on if you think of the six of wands in traditional tarot it literally shows you know someone being praised and 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 cheered on and and um congratulated uh by a crowd so it's as if you're in the spotlight for something that you've done or or something that you're doing like there will be acknowledgement recognition and you will be rewarded uh i feel spirit is positioning you uh in that in that um a roll. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. So we have teaching and learning here on the bottom of the deck. And this actually uh, showed up in the reading for Scorpios yesterday. So obviously this is, you know, the reason why I was seeing a victory and I was seeing, you know, major breakthroughs is because of the fact that you've been really um, learning. You, you have been in 
a studious energy. You could have been seeking wise counsel. You could have been going to school studying. This is a very, very determined energy to learn all you can, to soak up all the knowledge. You could be sitting at the feet of master teachers, healers, shamans, light workers, elders, maternal, paternal figures in your family. Um, but you are doing your due diligence to absorb as much knowledge, wisdom, and omnistand as you possibly can. And I feel like this is really why you're in, you know, that energy that I was picking up on, which was the Empress, because when we first touched the cards, um, I was explaining how I saw 444, and that breaks down to 12, which was 3, and I went into the whole diatribe about the Empress and the Emperor and the, the, the self-mastery that they've achieved in becoming uh, such regal, royal uh, beings, and here we are, uh, teaching and learning. So many of you have had to not only learn the process, but you were also acting as a teacher to others that are watching you. So when you are in this position, um, it's as if you are being trained, you are being probed by spirit, you are being uh, led to to like really hone your skills and master your craft, uh, tap into your divinity as that divine feminine and divine masculine, which is creation. Uh, so you're birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of thinking. You could be birthing babies, uh, birthing um, a whole new perspective, you know, a whole new concept of, of who you see yourself as. This is beautiful, but you've learned a lot along the way. And I feel like you've been the student and the teacher at the same time, unbeknownst to you all. And as I said, it's because you have an anointing and, uh, you know, on your life, you're chosen. And so many of times you're going to be tested. Spirit is going to test you. Uh, so that's a very beautiful energy. So we have on the split, we have patience here. So we have 7-7. Seven, seven. That's 7-7. Seven, seven. So that's like spirituality. Definitely uh, personal growth. Uh, coming into alignment, mind, body, and soul. That really speaks to being grounded. I just feel an energy of groundedness. But I'm also getting that energy of like, um, you know, you've sought wise counsel. And that's the reason why you're in the space where you have elevated, you have grown, you've evolved uh, in your way of thinking, in your way of being, in your way of doing things, in your way of communicating, in what you're watching, what you're consuming, either visually, uh, sonically, um, you know, uh, in, or even um, orally. You know, it's like you're very mindful. Uh, I also feel like with this too, the patience, which is associated with the high priestess, I am also sensing like there's been an energy that has been studying you um, and they've been very patiently uh, watching. Um, and, and this is something hidden, uh, but I also feel like you're aware because just as I've said, uh, when you are the empress or the emperor, it's like you have mastered all of uh, the elements. You have all of the characteristics and attributes of all the kings and queens. Um, so you are, uh, you've reached that level of self-mastery. She's a very, you know, the empress energy, because I'm getting 5712, that's three again. So that empress energy uh, is, is very, very in tune, uh, very intuitive. And if there is an energy of someone that could have been like kind of watching you uh, with 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 envy or jealousy or plotting and scheming uh, very patiently, I really truly feel like this is um, not going to end well for this person because you're tapped in, tuned in. As I said, with this seven seven, uh, that breaks down to fourteen, which is five. That's the hierophant. So that is that energy of someone who has been learned. That's a learned individual. That's someone who is very, very informed because of what they've studied, because of what they've investigated, what they've researched. Um, and as I said, you sat at the feet of the master teachers. So you have been able to soak up all of that, that wise dome. Um, I feel you've also learned to be patient. Some of you all could have been very impatient in this process expecting uh certain outcomes and and you had to just you know kind of fall in line we have diana ross and marvin gay and this is called stop look and listen um soon as i showed y'all it turned but it said stop look and listen and that's really what 
uh, the high priestess is also about uh, is is being very intuitive, very psychic. Uh, so you know, spirit is telling you to to use your intuition and and almost meditate to get things straight. Take time. Don't rush to answer anyone. Don't rush to take action before you you do some self audits before you analyze a situation or strategize um an outcome it's like you you really want to make sure to to dot your eyes cross your t's before taking action because there could be some competitive energy around you because that five could also be like the five of swords the five of wands um, you know, even the five of cups where somebody's going to have some regrets after the fact because they're going to realize they was trying to tangle with, you know, with a beast, <laughs> you know, that being you. So whatever this is, spirit told you, stop, look and listen. And I actually have my deck and one of my decks actually says that, um, stop, look and listen. That's about paying attention to all of your, uh, your, um, senses you know how do you feel in that moment what what is your energy speaking to you in that moment be very mindful in that regard because if, if you have someone who's patiently awaiting some sort of attack or patiently uh sitting and watching you as you learn or as you observe um this is someone that's that's calculative there's someone that's secretly plotting against you okay and we have right now most death yeah, so spirit is saying most definitely. So that's a check. So most deaf, name of the song is Fat Booty. But maybe somebody's jealous of the way you look, how attractive you are, ladies. Um, you'll be amazed at the reasons why folks hate you or hate on you or don't like you. You know, it, it'd be the, the most dumbest stuff. So some of y'all, you got a hater, um, most definitely according to spirit, that hates you because you got a big old fatty. You know, somebody hates you because they walking around with nothing while you got a whole lot of something something you know but um let's tap in tune and see what comes out with these cards thank you spirit spirit let's focus on spiritual energy let's focus on focus on the spiritual energy with our beautiful scorpios what's around our beautiful scorpios may I have a message of love a message of light spirit and just a forewarning i do deep dives beloved so if you are new here uh this is not going to be your typical or usual 15 minute reading. I do deep dives. I think you would know that by now. Um, I mean, because you did click on the video that probably says about an hour and change, two hours. So I had one lady come in and comment talking about, I am not about to watch a video for two hours. I was, I was, I, I was about to respond and I was like, I don't have to respond. I got options. Delete. <laughs> like, you have an option, beloved. You always do. I don't, I'm, I'm not taking away nobody's free will. But the same energy you took to come and click on a video that was obviously two hours long just to type up. You took precious time to type up a message to say, I'm not going to watch the video. But you technically pl click play on the video. Boo-boo. You didn't, like, you, you could see the timestamp before you even click play. You know, that's the beauty of YouTube setup. You know, you don't even have to click on a video. You don't want to. Like, so the negative Nancy's is just hilarious. I was about to go in on the lady and I was like, why? Like, that, that, that ish don't mean nothing. She sounds fool and crazy. It's like, boo boo, you all right? You can take your temperature. Because that don't make no type of sense to me. None. But anyway, I digress. So let's tap and tune in. Let me see what <laughs> What we got here. Y'all see how my mind will be working. I'm telling you, some folks just be like, they don't make the cut. Y'all never see half of these messages because I deleted. Okay, so look what we got flipped over. 48, financial discipline. So this is that, that breaks down to 12. And that 12 is the three of pentacles. So just as I said, a lot of y'all are learning something. You are mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. You are literally like in 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 study mode like you are getting all the books you can to learn about something like uh you could be taking classes so you're like up to your neck in homework you're trying to get certifications some of you all i'm hearing reiki off the rip you're 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 taking classes to become a reiki master there's levels to that ish so there's reiki one reiki two uh then there's a reiki master there's also um 
they have comedic reiki and then they also have crystal healing reiki so i'm hearing reiki was just very loud in my mind's eye which is why i'm like you know just expounding on reiki but for some of you all it can be sound therapy like you're literally going to take classes to get certifications uh, to do that and this is what this energy is with financial discipline like you're reinvesting your money so some of you all are really working very hard and that hard work is going to pay off beloved because there's pink and green on this card which just speaks to fulfillment beloved like you're going to be overwhelmed happy satisfied overjoyed you're going to be celebrating because i'm getting like the three like you rejoice in celebrations beloved that's what you're going to be doing because your hard work is eventually going to pay off and that's what i was feeling before i even touched the cards was like there's victories there's success and this is because you took the time like you was very disciplined um in your in your um in your process like you when, when usually maybe in the past like you would wake up and, and it would just be another day but you started to really discipline yourself to say you know what when i wake up i'm not touching my phone i'm gonna wake up say my affirmations i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna um you know pick read some information or i'm gonna meditate first then i'm gonna you know give thanks to the ancestors you know maybe pay off give offerings to the ancestors and then i'm gonna start reading then i'm gonna start researching whatever it is i want to do you know what i'm saying like you you was very regimented in the, your process and it just led to um it's leading to i should say to success and we have 66 healing here so you're being rewarded for healing you're being rewarded as i said because you have um you know really done on your due diligence to heal thyself and when you heal thyself you learn to love thyself and i feel a lot of y'all love yourselves now maybe in the past you thought you did but now that you really love yourself you know that what you were doing before you weren't loving yourself you weren't appreciating or valuing or honoring yourselves in the way that you know you deserve now uh but that six is the same number that we saw when we first started the reading and the six is really telling me like you know i was saying victory uh when i was trying to say victory i said move uh i said the six of swords when i was saying victory with now I was trying to say the six of wands and so this is literally showing me that same energy six of wands six of swords um and you moving away has enabled you to heal quicker to heal faster um we have ghost face killer and um uh Raheem divine and this is called baby you know so maybe some of you all I feel like you all like kind of just kind of went ghost on some folks while you went through your healing process i definitely feel like you were healing from heartache lost pain this is another card that showed up yesterday during your reading uh so i do feel like there was definitely a lot of of trauma i'm hearing trauma um i'm hearing like um painful loss painful ending some of you all have lost loved ones uh and some of you you've lost uh, loved ones every year you know it's like maybe I'm hearing some of you have lost six loved ones in the past um, couple of years in the past three years it could have been six uh, loved ones that were very um, near and dear to your heart or maybe six individuals throughout you know the past couple of years that you've known have transitioned uh, and that's that could be very painful you know to 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 uh, have to mourn the death of people that you you love that raised you that you grew up with that that in and of itself is painful um i'm starting to get a knot in my stomach because i feel that pain myself um lost a lot of loved ones in these past few years and i find um strength and 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 even you know um comfort in knowing that they're still around me because they let me know every day um, but there's nothing like just hearing that voice or feeling that warm embrace or eating that meal that that grandmother cooked like, mm. you know, walking into a room that was just full of life and love is like you, you felt safe, beloved, you know, so I feel some of y'all really suffered that type of pain where you could just I, I still have that that feeling in my gut like and that knot in my my throat like I feel like crying right now. And I am. <laughs> I just I had to let it out because it's obviously something not only I'm feeling, but you all are feeling as well. So I'm going to just let it flow, let it be natural. Um, and we have um, Lauren Hill and Bob Marley. 
and it's called turn your lights down low you know so maybe some of you all really you know just came out of a period where you were very um, depressed you struggle with depression because of these losses because even maybe you know a failed marriage or you know maybe even a breakup with my mother or the father of your child or maybe even uh, some sort of disagreement with your own mother or father you know um, there's there's a sense of like depression you know feeling very saddened um, and um, you know, really just struggling through that. But I see this, this is showing your healing, you know, and because you've done the work, you know, maybe a lot of you started to find comfort in uh, discovering, like I said, what your skills and your, your, your innate skills and talents and gifts were. And that kind of like helped to, to ease some of that pain because it kind of refocused your energy uh, towards something uh, more productive, something that was empowering. Um, and I feel like this definitely helped heal, helped to mend uh, your broken heart. I feel in a lot of ways you had ancestors uh, that were guiding you in that direction, like trying to show you the direction that you need to, to start um, start focusing on. In terms of which where you're taking your life or which direction you're you're going in life it's like they may have started to communicate with you in uh, various ways you know but you all have been very very strong I just feel resilience I feel very powerful energy coming uh, from you Scorpios um, it wasn't easy I, I'm hearing in my mind that clear as day it wasn't easy for some of you all it wasn't easy and, and it felt like death you know it's no uh, Kawink Ding that the death card represents and defines Scorpio's energy and a lot of times it takes uh, experiences and circumstances that feel like a death so much to transform us you know to help us um, you know start being the change that we desire to see in the world so this is very powerful so I commend you all like I said you know maybe now there's there's light you know in the past with turn the lights down low, I just strongly feel like, you know, a lot of you all were just kind of under the covers, hiding, sulking, crying. Uh, most of the time, your children didn't even know, you know, what you were dealing with because you hid it from them, you know. But um, I see now you're breaking free from all of that. And there's this sense of like you, you, you found uh, your purpose, you know, you found your passion. And that's really beautiful. And I feel because of that, as I said, that you're going to be rejoicing and celebrating, you know, really short. Like, I, I feel like this is coming sooner than you could imagine. So let's tap in. So what is our beautiful Scorpios attracting to them? I have a message of love, a message of light, spiritual messages, spirit. Thank you. I'd be saying love and light, and that's probably why they'd be throwing out that love all the time. <laughs> you get a message of spirit and light. <laughs> Maybe I need to say that. Of peace, power, and protection. Yes, can I get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios? For what they're attracting. Thank you. So physical activity came out yesterday as well. So they want you to stay active. They want you to, you know, I'm hearing an idle mind is the devil's playground. So stay active. You know, that 67, 6 is the first eye, 7 is associated with the crown chakra. And remember with that patience, you have someone that's minding your business. So be mindful of your surroundings. Um, the 67 physical activity is also reduces to 13, which I was just breaking down, which represents a death. So, you know, the death of the old only means that there's a birthing of something new. And so I feel like through your hard work and efforts, i.e. this financial discipline card, which I eloquently broke down, speaking to the Three of Pentacles, now we see here clearly that there is a transformation taking place. And this transformation is leading to growth, because this is 67, which reduces to 13, which is four. So this is growth. This is leveling up. 
This is also leading to stability and security. This is making um, for even the energy of like that divine masculine, uh, someone who is um, a go-getter, as I said, uh, very disciplined, very determined, very passionate, very powerful. Uh, and this is the, uh, the, you know, that emperor and empress are entrepreneurs. So they master manifest. They are creatives, as I said, so they could build you know, from the ground up and it becomes an empire. So this is really showing that that hard work your that comes from you. If you look, there's purple and then there's a blue symbol inside of this geometric symbol here. And um, that blue is associated with the throat chakra and the throat chakra is your uh, is how you express yourselves creatively. So creatively, you're tapping into your divinity as that divine feminine and divine masculine and you're being very active doing so you know with this physical activity it's only expressing um, that you have changed your circumstance transformed your circumstance by putting forth the effort by doing the work we have um, Crooklyn Doll Dodgers playing right now it says Crooklyn Dodgers so perhaps you know there was a lot of um, you know, crooked folks that you were dealing with in your past. Uh, maybe this is that person that we just saw that's patiently uh, clocking you uh, with Crooklyn. Um, you know, I get crooked energy. I just get somebody who's really not, if they come in smiling, it's it's beguiling. It's, it's not sincere. It's not genuine. It's not authentic. It's a very beguiling, sinister type of smile, almost like the Joker. You know what I'm saying? A two-faced individual. And so I feel like with that 13, I feel like spirit is saying like this person, whomever or whatever you're attracting to you, this is someone that could potentially be trying to uh, cause some sort of of uh, ending or trying to cause some sort of blockage or whatever it is they're trying to do. Uh, but I feel like you are uh, fully equipped and aware uh, because this three and this four here is seven and seven is the crown chakra. Uh, and the seven is also the chariot in traditional tarot, uh, the major arcana. Uh, is that chariot the seven so with that I feel like spirit is obviously saying that you are already aware you know you already have this awareness because as I've said earlier you embody all of the characteristics all of the attributes of all of the queens the kings you know and so you're able to tap into that Christ consciousness same as that high priestess or high priest that's clocking you and minding your business and so you're already protected it's like you're already divinely protected you're already doing your due diligence to to create boundaries and to protect your peace as i've said earlier you've created like a safe space safe haven so you don't let just anybody in you know, you're more mindful now. You got to be either on my frequency or you got to be able to teach me something I don't know in order for me to have an open door policy with you from now on. And that's where you're that's where you are right now. And so I feel like with the 67, with that, what you're attracting to you, that 13, I feel like there's like a sense of uh, someone that's holding on. I'm hearing the word grudge. Um, I'm hearing, you know, because seven is also, you know, the, 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 the devil in one of my decks as well. And that devil, uh, oh boy, he could be a trickster, you know, very deceitful, very cunning, very coy, um, you know, puppeteer, master manipulator, uh, gaslighter, speaks with a forked tongue. And so this could be someone that's genuinely envious of you. And so, as I said, they may come in smiling, but you have to check to see if it's a beguiling smile because I don't feel this person's rocking with you the way that they're trying to. Because as I said, we have Crooklyn Dodgers and I was just getting a crooked individual uh, from that. And it was my mind's eye was taking me to that patience card, which was telling me someone was very cunning because the patience is the high priestess in traditional tarot, you know, that major arcana. So I, I'm really getting somebody that's, you know, sneaky, you know, so you have to be tapped in, tuned in as well to your Christ consciousness, which I feel you already are. So we have this teaching and learning. So what did I say? Showing up yet again. This is the card that that two patients card showed up with. 
So this person is learning from you. They're studying you. This is someone very meticulous. And that's what the high priestess does. It kind of hides out in the cut and watches, you know. That's what a, a the pre, you know a predator does to its prey. It will it will stalk them, you know, before they strike. And that's what this person may potentially be trying to do. And so we have nice and smooth playing, and this is called sometimes I rhyme slow, sometimes I rhyme quick. That's what the name of the song is. And with nice and smooth, I feel like someone is really like they're seeing how smoothly things are running for you like how cool calm and collective you may be like i said you're in this very very um peaceful place you know and they see things are just smooth and, they, and they're trying to disrupt that and more importantly i feel like they're trying to distract you as well because they see what you're doing you know and when you're minding your own business uh you don't have time to mind anybody else's and so this person really has nothing going on in their life and that's why they're being very, uh, you know, very calculative um, in, in, in whatever they're trying to plan. I'm hearing some, I'm hearing plan your demise. That's what I was hearing. And with teaching and learning, this is like, you gotta, you have to um, act like you know. So it's like when you, once your eyes are awakened, it's like you can't go back to sleep state. It's like once you, meaning when your eyes are awakened to the truth. I'm not just saying when you wake up in the AM. I'm talking about when you, when your eye are, when your eye, first eye is awakened, I should say. You can't go back to acting like you're ignorant again. There's no way. You already seen what was needed to be seen. Therefore, now you have a duty. But whatever this is with this teaching and learning, it's like this person, I feel, is very much studying you. And they're watching and clocking you because they're trying to come in under the guise of something else. And you're just not falling for the okie doke. You're just not falling for it because you've already learned that lesson. You've already passed that test. You know what I'm talking about? You already you you already received the grade from spirit. And so maybe spirit is testing you again to see if you fall into the same trap. So you fall into the same mental, you know, fog or the same negative self-talk or the same lack mentality. It could be a test in that regard as well. Powerful. So let's tap in. So I was getting a download, but I something's telling me not to expound on what I would get. Maybe that's just for me. So I'll leave. I'll leave that. <laughs> my bad for the silent moment. So let's tap in. So let's see. All right. So let's see. How will this? How does this person that or thing are beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them? They feel you love yourself. This is exactly what you they they this is why they're being very very meticulous as well, very calculative because they know you love yourself and they also know you're guarded. That 61 is showing me automatically the seven of wands, like you backing everybody down, like yo. <laughs> nobody move nobody get hurt <laughs> like you're not playing with anyone right now especially when it comes to your peace of mind your happiness like you're not playing and so this is showing automatically like this this is seven and this is seven this both reduces to seven seven so they're going to be very cunning because they're trying to match your energy to make it seem like no i've grown you know, I'm there with you, baby. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual, uh, I'm on a spiritual journey as well. Like they're going to come in trying to be beguiling, you know, they're going to act just like that shapeshifter, just like the devil. And, and it's because like, they like, dang, the, 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 it's working for Scorpio. Like they literally, literally are, you know, very guarded now. They're very mindful, very meticulous, very serious about what they allow around them whereas in the past i was able to just come in whenever i want there was a revolving door now not so much <laughs> you know so somebody's learned a lesson apparently about how this this connection is and something ended 
you know, I see 53, 53 on the clock, and that's 8, 8, which is 16, that's 7. So you bolted your behind a, away from somebody with the quick fastness. I'm seeing that chariot, you know, and, and that's why somebody feel like they have to match your vibration. This is somebody that wasn't about nothing in the past with physical activity. This is somebody that was really like, they could have been a trigger for you in many ways. This is somebody that you've been deaded. Remember, we had ghost face killer. I feel like you you ghosted this person. You ghosted like especially this person because I feel like they had nothing new to say. It was like they they was it was like so obvious that they was just low vibrational. This could be that me too type of person. You say you doing something, they say they doing it too because they in a in their head they're in a secret competition with you, and that's why this person is just studying and watching. And it's and, and what they see is like you love yourself. What they feel about you. Is, is like you have self-love. You have that now. And maybe in the past you didn't show that because you didn't have boundaries. When you have boundaries, that, that is an automatic sign and show of self-love, self-worth, self-care, self-discipline. Period. Because nobody can, you know, push you over, be a pushover. You know, you're not going to be a pushover to others rather. You know, they're, they're not going to be able to steamroll you and, and gaslight you and they're not going to be able to do that when you have boundaries established. And so maybe now this person is seeing like, dang, like now you ain't for the, you ain't you ain't with the ish. Like you ain't playing them that type of games no more. Like you really changed. Things have really changed around these parts. You know what I'm talking about? And we have this 55 adventure. So there is some beautiful and that's 555 five, five here because this 7 and this 7 Reduces to 15, uh, 14, which is 5. And so we got 5, 5, adventure. And then we got this other 5. So 5, 5, 5 is 15. That's 6. So what's hidden is this is somebody from your past that you probably been told. Kick rocks with open toe sandals, beloved. Because I'm not on that type of time no more. No, no more. Like, that, that's just not, it's not becoming. But this is somebody from the past. Because I'm getting like the 6 of cups. I'm also getting victorious. I'm hearing that song, Vic, Vic, Victorious. But it was Notorious was the original lyri lyrics. But I was hearing Vic, 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 Victorious. <laughs> like you're victoriously moving forward. You're victoriously having major breakthroughs. You're victoriously having success in your life. You're victorious, period. And so that's where the hate you know, even on that six of wands, like everybody's not celebrating, you know, that person's win. If you look closely, you see a couple of snakes in the grass. And spirit wants me to show you that. So let me see if I can find my traditional tarot card. Matter of fact, it'll probably be easier for me to find it on my phone because I got to get up, go to get the card, go find the card. Whereas here, I could just Google search six of wands and voila so let's tap in let's see let me go here six of wands so look at this here it's so interesting what you find when you're like really tapping into the energy a lot of people never notice this mean mugging person right there. See that mean mug? It's like, this is what you call hater. Like, they, he still got the wand perpetrating the fraud. Like, yeah, he's just celebrating. But really, he's like hating. That's not a celebration. That's a hate campaign right there. And he's mean mugging and evil eye and all in the same. So this is definitely somebody that you have moved past. Like they see your growth, your elevation. They see you ain't even looking at them. You looking past them. Uh, you you off to new ventures in life. You know, this was somebody that was trying to trip you up, slow you down, distract you off your path. And you about to embark on a whole new adventure. A whole new precipice is about to begin for you. Like you're on the precipice of something new. You're, on the, you're, you're entering new gateways. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like a whole new chapter in your life. This person's stopping nothing. And that's why they mean mugging. And that's why they're calculating. And that's why they're patiently planning some sort of attack. We have earth, wind, and fire here. And this is called... What is this? 
Oh, it looks like it must be one of those players. Uh, I mean, I said players, one of those playlists. Um, I'm not sure what song is playing because it doesn't tell me, unfortunately. But with Earth, Wind, and Fire, you know, those are uh, elements, you know, that's the air element, Earth and Wind. Um, I mean, Wind is the air element. Earth would be the Earth element and, of course, Fire fire element. So one of the, whoever this person is, they could be one of those three uh, one of those three elements. They could be a fire sign, a, uh, uh, an air sign, or this could be someone who has uh, earth in their chart. The earth card is the devil. That's Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with somebody that could have a Capricorn energy. And I'm also hearing like uh, Aries. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries or maybe someone that's a Leo. It's just a very, like, this energy is not, like I said, beguiling. Faking the front, front, you know, faking the front. How do you say that? Faking the funk. <laughs> faking the funk and perpetrating the fraud is how I would define this person. And it's all because, you know, you have the, a new beginning. Like, you are about to come into so much happiness. Like, it's a, life is about to get very exciting. And it's been a while since you've had that. Wow, you got 5544. See that? You got a happy ending there. You got adventure, environment, happy endings. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. This 44 always makes me feel like the eight of pentacles, where you're not even getting distracted. Like, you got your eyes on the prize, beloved. You looking forward, like forward movements. You are not doing no backstepping, no backtracking, no backwards, nothing. It's all forward movement. That eight is the infinity symbol. So that's about infinite possibilities, forward movement. This is prosperity even. This is wish fulfillment. This is definitely like you feeling very fulfilled and you've poured your heart into something that you have so much passion, so much like love for. It, it, it just feels second nature to you. It, it, is, it has helped you to heal. It has truly helped you to heal. And that's truly what that creative energy is all about. That when you tap into that creative energy, that's that, that feminine and that masculine energy, you know, working together. You know, that yin and yang. You can't have one without, without the other. You can't have good times without having the bad. You know, you can't appreciate a, a, a wonderful memory if you don't have anything to compare it with to define it as such. So it's like we need that shadow energy just as much as we need the light. You need it all because that's what, that's where character, that's what builds character is your experiences and the things you overcome. If life was easy, it would be probably very boring you know, that's why people come here. They they stay that earth is literally like a simulation for souls. Like you come here to learn. You don't come here to stay long term and be and some people come back because they never learned the lessons they were supposed to learn and they just be repeating cycles constantly. But this is beautiful energy because you've been very resilient and very determined, very focused, and that's why there's a happy ending. I was seeing the sun in the uh, reading yesterday I just saw this big bright sun and then the sun was shining in the reading uh, several times and I had to stop to give you know pay homage to the sun that's how beautiful it looked golden bright light you know and that's what I feel you're coming into newness new energy because it's like that old version of you you have completely rid yourself of even the old people that represented the old version of you are no longer in your life no longer in the picture and that's why you only can't right now. It's like you're only going to attract what you are because the energy never lies. People think that they can outwit energy and it's just like, you know, <laughs> where they do that at? Show me like <laughs> because you you are what you are. You know, you are what you are. But I digress. Let's go ahead. Let's cap it. What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and a message of light. That was just what was on the bottom of the deck, that adventure card. So we have leadership. What did I say? Bossed up. That's that energy of emperor, empress. You you running tangs out here. You got 71 health. That's what's hidden. Somebody stressing over you. 
stressing over what you are manifesting, stressing over your blessings, your gifts, your rewards. Somebody's up in their head worrying about what you got going on. This is somebody stressing. That 71 always gives me like the eight of swords energy. And this is somebody who's minding your damn business. And they're minding your business because you on your boss-ish. You're not playing with nobody out here. You got business to tend to. You got businesses to run, children to raise. You know what I'm talking about? You got a legacy to leave behind. Some of y'all are writing books. Y'all are literally focused upon leaving a legacy whatever that legacy is however you define that legacy whether it is leaving a catalog of music leaving a leaving um uh uh, uh books published books uh whatever it may be you know you are here for a purpose and you've realized that it's like oh, like that aha moment has occurred and the more you realize who you are the further you you are you know it's like you're pulling away from whatever or whomever this person is from the past because the illusion is it's like it's dissipating just like a, a a cloud or a puff of smoke it dissipates eventually and once you snap free from that ill use of your ions you can see the truth you see what it truly is you're not you're no longer gaslit or confused but you are manifesting your outcome is whatever you've been manifesting whatever you've been calling in whatever you've been praying for whatever you've been writing down in your manifestation journals whatever rituals you've been doing whatever angels you've been working with it is coming true beloved i also feel like because you've healed you've like you've wrapped up karmic cycles you've completed them Everything that you've learned has come full circle. This is the reason why you're being rewarded. Hard work pays off. Sitting on your ass gives you nothing. And this is what Spirit is saying. You have evolved into someone who is a leader. And many of you are owning that now. This is the major change, the major transformation that many of you have been experiencing is bossing up, standing in your power, owning it, not backing down, saying what you need to say, expressing yourselves from your truth. Like, you know your worth now. There's no settling. There's no, oh, well, maybe I'll just take this or I'll accept that. You're not accepting anything that doesn't sit right in your spirit, regardless of what it is. That's what a leader does. You're also somehow being anointed or being chosen to lead others, to guide others, to act as a guiding light for others. It, because you're a natural at it. I see this here. And it's because you've done the work. Look at this. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. It says personal growth. So the work that you've been doing on yourself. Remember, we saw all them sevens. And so we got 777 seven, seven on the board. literally 777 seven, seven right now because you have 48 that's 3 67 that's 4 7 61 that's 7 71 8 and 8 16 that's 7 777 seven, seven. and y'all know how I feel about 777 seven, seven. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I saw 777 seven, seven three times on one receipt and I'm gonna show you that in a minute but this is what you all have evolved into a leader You've reached a level of self-mastery. You have, uh, you've evolved. You know, there's no other way to say it. It's like you've reached that level of self-mastery. You now are owning who you are. You are now standing in your power. And you have others watching you. Whatever you're doing, you're a natural. You had an anointing. Spirit chose you. This ain't no winky dink. You went through what you went through because spirit wanted you to have something to say. You have to be able to speak from experience if you're going to touch the hearts of people who've been through a lot. How you want to speak to somebody and you don't have no understanding of what they're going through. That's why the society is the way it is. You got all these billionaires and millionaires making the decisions for people who are living far beneath the freaking pay grade. And they're sitting here making bills for you instead of putting people in position that knows what it feels like to be somebody that's not making a trillion dollars 
you know, annually. It's like they're so out of touch and disconnected. But you, beloved, you have something to say because whatever you are being called to do, your energy, your vibration, your gift is rooted in whatever you've just learned through your karmic lesson. Whatever you've learned from that karmic lesson is how you are to engage with your audience, whoever you are leading, whoever it is that you are acting as a teacher. Remember, we had teacher and teaching and learning. So you are acting now as the teacher, like you've been ordained, you've been, you know, kind of like ushered in, initiated even, because you are a natural. This is powerful. And with this personal growth, spirit is showing that you've, you've evolved. You've evolved, beloved. You don't get rewarded, recognized. Blessings don't just knock on your door and rain on you. Like I said, if you're just sitting around watching TV all day or sitting around on the phone gossiping and doing nothing with yourself. Like, it, it requires breakthroughs. Breakthroughs happen in, 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 in many ways. You have, to have, you have to have a breakthrough uh, with your ego. You know, that ego death really leads to a lot of healing because you're no longer, like, lying to yourself. So let's tap in. Let's, let's, let's uh, continue the reading. This is going to be a deep dive, as I said. So let's go ahead and uh, get some messages from Energy Oracle Deck, beloveds. So we had, um, I just saw Caring Connections here. So there will be, and that's another card that showed up in the reading yesterday. On the split, we have this uh, seventh, seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. So this is powerful. So trust your intuition when it comes to um, relationships. Just trust your intuition because somebody could be coming in, as I said, very beguiling. Maybe this is an angle that they are choosing to take because they know how loving, open, caring, you know, you can be, how nurturing. Because you, you truly, Scorpios, man, like this is why a lot of people have a difficulty letting you go. Because when you love, you love hard, you know, you go all out. You will go all out for the people you love. And when someone doesn't have that, when they're absent of that and they've had it before, it's it's like, oh, Lord, you know, it's really like, a, um, what's that saying? Like you have withdrawals. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpios. We have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. We have a message of peace, power, and protection. Spiritual messages for my beautiful Scorpios. We have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. I saw Carnocopia, decisions. It says indecision. Remember that Eight of Swords? Somebody could be trying to come your way to cause confusion because this is st sitting right next to Carnocopia. So spirit is blessing you with something and someone is trying to cause confusion. That eight of swords, remember, stressing over you, minding your business, up in your business. Why? Because of what you're manifesting. You seem to be very elated, very fulfilled, very happy. You have monetary blessings. You have uh, emotional blessings. You're healthy. You're happy. You're at peace. And this person's stressing over you being in peace, being you know, having this 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 uh, this abundance, if you will. So let's tap it. Let's cut this deck. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. Let's see what we got. Bottom of the deck, we have Angel of Love. So there was an angel that put it on you, and as I said, you was being led by, you know, like a, an ancestor. I feel like there was an ancestor because that four is the heart chakra. Uh, and, and that's what led to you walking away. See that? I can't make this up. This is on the bottom of the deck, the walking away. So spirit told you, look at that. When you walked away, now there's rewards. See that? Walking away from something that didn't serve you and focusing on you, your creative gifts, skills, talent, you know, tapping into the divinity as the divine feminine, divine masculine and creating. That's what helped to heal and mend your broken heart. An ancestor led you to this path because this is what they they wanted to align you with your purpose. The way you could get distracted is by staying busy, especially after heartache and you know some people it, it could get 
to become it could become a crutch because they don't want to face their issues and problems but i feel like instead of running um from the problem you just found something else to fill the void and, and the more you mastered that craft or sharpen that sword whatever it was the more it like strengthened you to stand in your power to walk away from what wasn't serving you and if you look here that's 27 which is nine highest number of change those are the changes you made you walked away from this this very toxic individual and now spirit is blessing you this is not just you know oh you're going to eat good for a month and then you know you're going to have a harvest you're going to have carnicopia this is a lifelong harvest this is you being able to eat off this for the rest of for all of you know eternity because you you have been granted this 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 blessing due in part to completing karmic lessons it, it takes sometimes it takes a couple of lifetimes to to complete a karmic lesson and so this is the reward you you are going to be rewarded for many lifetimes just as you had to suffer for many lifetimes this is a very powerful i love this this is beautiful so angel of love is here so you put your heart into your creativity beloved that three and that four is seven so that's the seeds that you were sowing in good faith the hard work and i said it's going to pay off and we saw that clearly with carnucopia showing up so the seven of pentacles is what I'm getting from this automatically. So you've kept at something. You know, that three of pentacles turned into the four. Four of pentacles turned into the five. Five turned into six. Six turned into seven. And that's where we are now. And the angel of love, something that you are passionate about, something that's second nature, something that you just feel so much joy, peace, and happiness doing is what you're going to truly you're going to excel you're going to uh graduate in that level you're going to be successful and whoever this person was or whatever this circumstance was there was definitely a death a circumstance that led to the demise of a relationship and you walked away because you realized that person wasn't on not that that person wasn't on your time they was on demon time and we have right now bob marley natural mystic and we're talking about the person that's sitting here plotting, scheming, scanning, scamming you. So a natural mystic. So they find you to be very mysterious. But this is someone who's also uh, could be doing some sort of spell work because the high priestess is known to use her powers for bad, for evil, um, which is why it's very important to use your intuition uh, and to protect yourself, to create boundaries, to perform protective rituals on yourselves. Um, but this is someone very calculating. And I feel like I said, someone you've walked away from that has this, this, there's, they're seething. You know, I see like a dog snarling. You ever, you see a dog snarling, you see all their teeth, the canines, everything, and all that damn, you know, uh, saliva just caked up like that i see a dog barking like a german shepherd or uh <laughs> like i'm literally seeing it in my mind's eye and that's what this person feels for you like because you walked away how dare you who you think you are like that's the type of energy like this is somebody very entitled this could be like an ex-friend this could even be a masculine like some like some of you fellas you don't realize how masculines can be just as like um you know just as uh petty you know as as some females you know and i say that because you know most females not most females are known to be very petty and very catty but men can be just as petty and catty as a female i've seen it i think the whole thing all you gotta do is turn on a podcast every now and then you see it i'll be like lord i can't tune in but um so yeah journey yep you walked away that's the same as walking away they, they, this person I, I feel really truly with the two this is the same two that we saw with patience so this is somebody that is trying to cause some form of confusion you know when I see twos I always think of duality I was seeing a two-faced individual I was seeing the Joker I spoke to that energy a trickster someone cunning someone coy someone who speaks with a forked tongue and that's what a two would do this journey so it's like they're, they're jealous and they're seething because you're on a whole new path on a whole new journey 
Because you've cut ties. You've cut the cords with this person. You've cut them off. And so they're, they're very perturbed by that. And you focused on you. We got the angel of balance. So they see again, yet again, like you are finding your own balance. You're finding your own peace. And with this 48, that's 12 again. That's three. So they see you. They see you as someone that, that is very regal, royal, nurturing, maternal, paternal. That's a, a alpha male, alpha female, someone who's very devoted, very protective, a provider, someone very balanced, grounded, and in alignment. Someone who is a master a manifester, someone who knows their worth and value, someone who doesn't settle, someone who is self-aware, a boss, a leader. They see you as all of these things, which is why they're seething. I was feeling like somebody was seething, and that is why. And it's because you love you. You got to love you before you love anybody else. This was the change that you made. This is how you leveled up. And they may have been one of those people who benefited tremendously from your acts of selflessness. You could have been very selfless, very, uh, you know, um, um, how do you say? You could have been uh, very generous with your time or you could have been someone who overcompensated and this person benefited from that and the moment you started to wake up from that loose ill use of your eyes when you started to wake up from the illusion and you were no longer trapped and imprisoned by the gaslighting manipulator that this person is it was like oh snap you found your balance you found your balance because you, you went into that state of meditate, contemplate, get it straight. That that was it. It was like something don't sit right in your spirit. You sat with it for a while and you got your answers straight from source. People's words mean nothing if their actions are saying something else. That's why you cut this person off to begin with and ghosted their ass. We got Bob Marlin still um, and this is called I'm Hurting Inside. So whoever this person is, if they're hurting inside, all right, because perhaps karma done bit them in the ass. That ain't nothing but karma. Karma will bite you in your ass. <laughs> it will. <laughs> like, my mama aunt don't play. She has everybody's address. People be thinking they so cunning. And it's like, yo, you gonna have to pay for everything you do in the light and dark. Whatever is in the wash, it comes out in the wrench. Trust. So divine spirit of love and light. Why? Uh, how does this? Why is uh, sixty one self love here for how this person Scorpio is attracting feels about them? Why is this sixty one self love here? Thank you, spirit. What did I say? I love it. Archangel Mikael on play. This is the second time Archangel Mikael came out in the reading to let you know I got you. Some of y'all could be doing the Archangel nine week Archangel uh, ritual. And if you aren't, you should probably start because he has showed up in two readings in one day, in two days. This is second day, second time. But you know what I mean. So you need to uh, do that nine week ritual. I say that's a that's a beautiful ritual. I will more than likely post the information and pin it so that you all can do that because this is powerful. For Archangel Mikael, you are very protected, beloved. I was picking up on that. You have seven and eight. That's 15. That's six. Your first eye is open. You already see what's going on. You already see what it is. And Archangel is the one. Archangel Mikael is the one giving you, you know, that download that's divinely protecting you, divinely guiding you. And he's looking right in the direction of this person that's trying to cause you indecision. They're trying to cause you confusion. Because that's what they feel. This is powerful. And we have yin yang. So they're jealous of the fact. And we saw the angel of balance. So they are very jealous of the fact that you appear to be in equilibrium. Mind, body, soul. You are balanced. You have self-love. You're self-disciplined. You're no longer triggered. You know who you are. You know, and you're owning it now. There's no confusion. So they're trying to create confusion. They also see you as very happy, very stable. 
You feel very content. Some of you all may manifest or have love in your future because whatever this person is seething over, it seems it's because you have some sort of happy family dynamic. This is like you have a partner that is divinely, it's like we got 4-4. Four, four. Remember, we saw 4-4-4. Four, four, four. And you got this 8-8 eight, eight again, which is 7-7 seven, seven in your energy. Not only do they see you as someone uh, very spiritual, very psychic, or very intuitive, but they've seen, they've watched you morph and transform. You have grown personally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but they also see that you have met your divine counterpart. You are in a sacred union with someone that matches your fly and vibration. That speaks your love language. This is enough to make anyone go crazy, especially if they're so busy, you know, grading themselves on you. It's like they're grading themselves based off of your, your um, achievements, if that makes any sense. So they're, they're minding your business, in other words. And maybe they're, like I said, in a, con, con, a, 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 a secret competition in their head with you. And this is why they're seething. Look at this, the thinking woman. You're very wise. There's, there's no outwitting someone who's well studied, who's, who's in touch and in tune, and who also receives divine downloads, transmissions, communication from spirit, straight from source. Archangel Mikael is here giving you your task, your duty. This is your mission, Scorpio. And that's why I was picking up like you being chosen, you being anointed, because this angel, Archangel Mikael, to whom I have a very powerful and strong connection with, he I feel he is my spiritual father, along with Baba Ogun. Uh, but he definitely is very, very protective. And he is here twice in two readings to let you know, look, I got you. So whoever this cunning person is, remember I told you they was very manipulative, very calculating, the thinking man. They're trying to match your vibration. You know, they're, they're trying to get on your wavelength, but you got your back turned, like pardon my back. You're, you're heading towards elevation. You're heading towards an ascension, growth. You're leveling up. You're stepping your game up. You've stepped your game up already, which is why this person here is perturbed trying to figure out how to mastermind or how to conjure up some sort of sick twisted plan they're up in their head they're going to drive themselves crazy trying to figure you out because you'll always change it and you're highly intuitive like highly you got the seven here twice you got seven 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 here you got seven seven Okay, it's not 777, but you got 77 twice. Powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. You know, and with that 11, like you you can match their energy too. You could you could be super psychic, super clairaudient as well. That's just the the energy of a Scorpio. And we have bloodstone that says who has the laugh last? Who has the last laugh now? Exactly. Exactly. And that's going to be you because whoever this person is who thinks that they're smarter than they actually are. Oh, baby. But when you have Archangel Mikael there, oh, man, protect your neck, beloved. That sword, when that sword gets, it's like, it's like, it's, 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 woo, that sword comes down. <laughs> I hate to be that person, whoever this is. They are doing nothing more than collecting karmic debts. So your card flew out. We have on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Mo money, mo money, mo money. I was just telling my children I gotta go get that uh that um in the color collection because I mean they gotta see this. My daughter's seen it. My son never has. But the garden and the gate, beloved. This is this person. This is what they're trying to do. And we got action here. So somebody was trying to keep another person confined. You know, this is like imprisonment. That gate, it's locked. She's sitting there dreaming in la-la land. Doesn't know her ass from her elbow. She looks childish. Uh, she looks almost childlike, but she's more than likely a grown woman. Um, and it's because someone is trying to keep someone stunted, confused. Uh, maybe this was a, a, a picture 
uh, that this person is holding on to of you, you know, even if this is a feminine, I mean, a masculine energy where somebody was trying to stunt someone's growth. Uh, seven and one and three is 11. So that's that same person that's hidden in plain sight because I, I really feel like y'all already know who this person is because whenever you get around them, your energy might start creepy crawling, you know, your stomach might start turning in knots or drops around that person. Her hairs might start picking up. You just feel their energy. Like they can't hide the, their disdain. They can't hide that. And so with the 71 and this 30, like I said, that reduces to 11. So whoever that person is, yet again, this person is trying to be you, but they're not you. You're, you're utilizing your powers for good, growth. You know, you're maturing, you're learning, you're elevating yourself, you're preparing for whatever this, this mission, this soul's path mission, you know, and this individual here is literally perturbed and trying to figure out any type of way to, to continue to be a roadblock. But you are bolting past that ass with the action card here. This is you moving forward ahead, full steam ahead. There's blessings. You're taking off. You're leaving a situation behind that no longer serves you. Because you know what your worth, what your value is. You are very, you've already seen everything you needed to see from a bird's eye view. And that eight yet again, as I said, that's like that could be like something coming quick, fast, and in a hurry as well. Information, or you may have to make a sudden move. And remember, spirit was telling you to not rush anything to take your time to get things right you don't want to have to clean up a mess that could have been prevented later on so don't let anybody come in and and manipulate your energy or convince you to do things that you haven't yet you know taken inventory on you got to sit with it for a while and see if that matches or suits your energy first and foremost you got money coming beloved this is the second time this showed up in your reading door to value so manifestation there's a blessing there's a reward coming in this is something that you have worked hard on this is the same number as the 48 it's just flipped so just as i told y'all earlier something you've mastered that craft that skill whatever gift you've unpacked to discover what your soul's path pur purpose and mission is spirit is rewarding you it's going to be raining on some of y'all it's beautiful so why is this manifestation card here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. What time we have on the clock? Okay, we're making good time. Our spirit of love and light may have a message of love. Oh, can I have a message of peace, power, and protection? <laughs> peace, power, protection, period. <laughs> spirit. Thank you. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. Appreciation. Show, show gratitude when you receive this blessing. You know, just as I was saying, like, if you have altars, uh, definitely put out, you know, some offerings for your, uh, for the deities that you may be using during your rituals. Leave them a candle, light an incense, light a, you know, light, um, you can, um, put a glass of water. You could put out their favorite snacks or foods. There's, there's several things you could do. You could, you know, ordain it with, with uh, perfume. You could, it, it is a plethora of things. But pay homage. Give offerings. Get in the habit of doing that. Buy fresh flowers. I love to buy flowers uh, for each of my altars. You know, and um, I always keep, uh, keep a glass of water. I pour libation. I like candles. You know, the, the usual. You gotta, you have to do that. Because that's energy that you're putting into it. You're developing that relationship. You're taking time to devote, you know, time and energy to connecting with those deities. So the card that came out is victory. Didn't I say there was a victory? And I was hearing, Vic, Vic, victorious. I was hearing that. You're going to feel so liberated, beloved. So achieved. So happy. This is just like, yo, it doesn't get any better than that. And remember, I told y'all, y'all going to have some haters that's going to be hating on the sideline. You know, but please show, show, show gratitude to your, to your angels, your ancestors, because it's coming straight from them. Like the 444 showed up in the reading. I knew spirit was all over y'all. And then Archangel Mikael came out. It doesn't get any better than that. You have the victory card as your, that, that, 
the outcome, like, come on, with manifestation, like, your dreams are coming true, your blessings are coming true, and you have a hater. No wonder this person is being very calculating and very cunning and trying to, you know, ease their way into the picture. And Archangel Mikael is like, not on my clock. Not on my clock. Go find you some business to tend to because Scorpio's business is none of yours anymore. They have a mission. I have appointed them a role and they are doing their due diligence. Mind yours. That's why this person's like, okay, la, 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 la. They, they, they were skipping in one direction and now they're skipping in the other. Because they, they done spotted that you have protection. They realize. They're going to they gonna know. And that's why I said, like, I feel like somebody's going to be struck with some karma. Like, karma dharma. Definitely going to come and uh, take a little chunk out of somebody's derriere. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. But, it, I mean, we saw it earlier. Like, somebody's really pissed off that you bossed up. And you're just not playing the game anymore. You're not even entertaining it anymore. You're not even, like, giving anything. You have nothing to give. You know, if it's not on your frequency, it's just, like, a waste of time. So let's see what we got. So we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So that is an energy, you know, patience, young grasshopper. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't rush to do anything. And that's what I feel. I feel like you've been taking your time to learn. You've been taking your time to research. You've been taking your time to investigate whatever it is that you are working on. See that? You've got the Queen of Wands. So this is that energy of, of creating as well. She has that wand, that staff. So that's an instrument of manifestation. She's setting intention. She has all these candles. Some of you all are definitely performing rituals. You're doing some sort of rituals. And there goes the Empress. I mentioned the Empress, and here she is. Very beautiful energy, very regal. Her womb is planet Earth. Mother, it's Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth. So it's like, this is like Mother Gaia pregnant with Daughter Earth. So you may have a very strong connection to Mother Earth. You may have a job to help, you know, the environment in some way. Maybe some of you grow your own produce, you have your own farms, you know, and not farms where there's slaughterhouses, but you could just have like little, you know, little, I don't know, hens, I don't know what they, <laughs> don't get me the line, but you know what I mean? Like, you could be growing your own produce, let's just leave it there, you know, but you are definitely like, you're, you're, you're doing something with the environment, some of you all may have earth in your chart, you may have a very strong connection to mother earth some of you all need to get outside and really just do some meditations outside you know plant your, your feet on the earth ground yourselves connect with mother Gaia connect with daughter earth this is beautiful we have the four of pentacles along with the knight of pentacles so you have been really working very hard very very diligent like you are not giving in or giving up on a particular idea um you're de definitely very guarded uh, uh, this is really guarded you know you could be guarded with your with your um finances not even guarded but like real um you're being uh oh what's the word i'm looking for beloved I i'm hearing penny pinch they saying that will work too because it's just going to take too much for me to like sift through all the data in my brain to find the word for you in this moment. But <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like it's almost 50 years of data. I got to sort through to find that one word. Like, <laughs> but yeah, so it's like some of you all are like penny pension and, you know, saving, you know, but there's victories here. Look at the stability, security. This is like the 1111 card as well. And I just feel like you are independent standing perpendicular in your square there's victory there's it's like you're just literally moving to the beat of your own drum very happy you're living a very satisfied life a very meaningful life i feel some of you all could be doing something related to music maybe dance belly dancing some of you all could be belly dancers i also feel like some of you could be shamans i'm hearing like a shaman or some sort of um healer maybe you do uh you sit in uh on like ayahuasca uh retreats or ayahuasca uh healing 
journeys or maybe even uh, philocybins. Uh, you may be someone who's a shaman and you are um, sitting with with your students or sitting with folks while they're going through uh, their their uh, philocybin uh, journey or while they're going on their ayahuasca journey. But this is powerful. I feel like some of you all were initiated through that. Like you, maybe this is that that was something that triggered what your path what your path was meant to be because you had like an ayahuasca experience or a psilocybin experience and you may have met like your divine mother you may have met ancestors that gave you jewels wow that's powerful that's very powerful so let's go ahead keep on shuffling a couple of more times and then we'll cut the deck by spirit love and light I see the two of cups here. There goes that six of swords. Moving away. You moved away from things that were not serving your highest good. It included people that you loved, people that you trusted. You know, with the two of cups there, there was a partnership that could have, uh, you know, ended um, very sour. I heard sour put a nasty taste in your mouth but I feel like ever since uh, you've been making it your business to like work on yourself so as not to ever experience that again it's like you learned from that experience that you don't ever want to go through it again so you made it your business to work on yourself to heal yourself you know I'll just cut it one more time and then we shall proceed with the read so we got on the bottom of the deck this is going to clarify so this Two of Cups was just so determined to show. I was trying to ignore it because I told y'all I didn't want to make a love. But this is not just about love, though. Even though it really reads love here. <laughs> and it's clarifying the angel of love. And it's the 48 discipline. So, um, I mean, the only way that I can really define this, because with that four and then you have the two, that's like six. Um, and the six and the seven is, I'm sorry, the six and the three is nine. So what I'm getting is you're really more so focused on loving yourselves now. You know, as I said, you have to be solid. You have to be whole. Uh, you have to have uh, a healthy relationship with yourself in order to be able to have that healthy relationship with anyone else. And I feel like this could also be just seen if it's not you and another person, just you, your masculine and feminine side, you know, really intertwine and it brings you into balance. And when you are in balance and in harmony with yourself, then you have the ability to attract others with you in that same vibration and that same frequency. And I feel with the angel of love, um, you have two angels here that are absolutely um, influential in the direction of your life. So they are aligning you with your purpose, with your person, apparently, uh, with your mission. So there is a lot of things going on. And I just feel, especially with this 1111 showing up in the reading, I do feel like that's really, truly speaking to you have a sacred connection, spiritual connection with someone, and you are coming into union with whomever this person is, regardless. Uh, I feel there's definitely a very um, sinister energy, a very deceitful energy that could be hating on this union, uh, which is why there's so much disdain. It just makes more sense now why someone would hate with such passion you know what i'm talking about and it's apparently because you have a new partnership or a new connection you've moved on so to speak and we have the gap band early in the morning so early in the morning this person whoever you are attracting to you that has all this disdain is already like up monitoring your uh, daily activities you know they're already up watching learning studying doing whatever they're doing to see what's going on with you um, you're here living your best life minding yours as I said uh, moving to the beat of your drum whilst this person here seems to be super uh, confused as to just letting things just 
fall where they may because uh, that 6713 is already showing like something has already ended there was there's been something that felt very similar to a death uh, and and it's triggered transformation to those who were opened to the change and although this energy of journey is here the two uh, I feel there's a sense of a little uh, confusion maybe stuck in two minds um, this person seems to be like on a bridge with their suitcases and it's just like it, it doesn't look like it's a, a, a um, it doesn't look like a fun journey because I feel like this is something like they've they, they've landed themselves in this particular predicament uh, by being deceitful you know by being um, dishonest perhaps and maybe that could just be you moving away from someone uh, to whom wasn't making the effort or uh, to cultivate a real genuine friendship or family dynamic or work relationship or love connection this was someone that was really just uh, kind of like you know just an energy vampire so to speak come around you know with their hands looking like cups just somebody always needy wanting um, you know just always in that competitive energy with you and that is very exhausting so I feel like you just kind of moved on um, we have now we have Lionel Richie singing uh, all night long so first we had <laughs> the Gap Band saying early in the morning uh, now we have Lionel Richie, Lionel Richie saying all night long so this person is thinking about you damn near 24-7 beloved uh, you're always on their mind that's why they're in this damn uh, mental funk here you know mentally conflicted this is somebody ruminating pining overthinking constantly like just obsessive thoughts of you like just very calculating how to manipulate you how to keep you stuck in this illusion in this trap where you don't feel uh, this sense of freedom or victory that you have now uh, this is what they were trying to prevent you from doing from moving forward moving upward and on with you with your life so let's tap in why is the 67 physical activity and journey here for this person that our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them look at that the four Pentacles so this was that person all along holding on to you they're holding on to you they refuse to let you go because this is someone who has I feel um, some sort of regrets you know this is somebody who obviously feels regrets um, and, and, and if it's not regrets uh, it could definitely feel like like they may be dealing with some sort of karma. Um, they could be dealing with karma because the justice card is the number six card. And we have the six, two, and four here, uh, which is six. And that six and that four from the 67 is 10. So they could have a little regret because something ended. And maybe you were their meal ticket. Maybe you, uh, you know, you were the breadwinner, whether you were masculine or feminine. And this person was trying to hold on to you for the wrong reasons. Maybe somebody's really pissed off because you seem to have like really uh, started to excel the moment you got rid of the dead weight. Um, and that's why they're sitting back watching, plotting, scheming, scamming. Uh, and Archangel Mikael is here like, yo, not on my watch. Um, we have this here. So they do see you as a master manifester, a creative. Like they see you as someone who is very, very, um, you're like that. Um, you're literally like someone who turns your thoughts into reality they see you as like an alchemist uh you know even as a magi i magi nation like whatever you think you know you may speak certain things and the things that you may have spoken in the past they see that you've manifested all of those things you've once spoke of and it's not by happenstance it's because as i said you have an anointing a calling on your life and so spirit is absolutely going to make sure uh you're protected uh, because you have a mission here and so this person has been holding on to you because maybe they thought holding on to you that would be their ticket into heaven or their, their you know that would be their way to get in you know how you have certain people who just like they just like to ride folks coattails so they figure if they ride their coattail enough they could get into the to, to the club free get into the VIP section free because they with such and such they name drop like oh I'm with this one and so they get all the perks of knowing that person that's how I feel about this person like I don't feel like the love was ever genuine I don't feel like the way that they um, the way that they may speak to you and say oh I care or whatever whatever I don't feel that's genuine and I feel like you know that 
I feel like intuitively you you knew that, and that's why you moved on and left their ass in the dust and ghosted them. Um, we have my daughter's song, Tangible Project uh, Prospects, playing right now. And so that's what you're achieving, you know. This person could have blew a lot of smoke up your ass. Um, also, through gaslighting, you telling they're going to do this, they're going to do that, or we're going to have this. This could have been an ex, you know, somebody you was in a relationship with, and they, they promised you the world, you know, with a, with a gold ribbon, you know what I'm talking about? And they deliver nothing. You know, so now with this uh, tangible prospects, you're manifesting everything you want. You know, you're able to manifest in real time, in rapid speed. And um, this individual, whomever these people are or this person is, they're able, they're seeing that. They're seeing you as someone who's like literally you speak it into existence. You know, whatever you speak, you you manifest. And that's literally how this person has watched you. Um, transform your life. So why is the 61? Why is the 61? What is that again? I forgot. Oh, self-love. 61 self-love. Oh, God. A bunch of cards. Thank you, spirit. So we have the nine of cups. Look at that nine of cups sitting there all pretty light. And that's what I was feeling. You know, this nine of cups is really about like being selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. Um, it's really that energy of like you've learned from the past. You, you was given and given and given to, some, to someone and there was no reciprocity. So you felt very emotionally bankrupt with that Eight of Cups enough so that you moved away. You know, I was hearing the Six of Wands, but I slipped and said Six of Swords in the beginning of the reading. And then the Six of Swords so it showed up. So you did move away and it was tough for you to make that decision. But you did it because you knew you had to love you. You know, you had to be selfish and you had to love you in that moment. And I feel that was the, 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 the eye opening moment when you realized that other person that you was willing to fight for, that you had poured so much of yourself into time, energy, um, you realize that they didn't love and appreciate you in the same way. So you let it go. You let it go and you moved on and you focused on your healing. And that's why you have victory. That's why I was hearing Vic, Vic, Victorious when the real song is no, no. Notorious. That's a Nort Notorious B.I.G. song. But I was hearing Victorious and then what do you know came out? Victory. So this is how spirit works. And this is why you're getting rewarded. Look at that treasure chest. Remember, we saw a carnucopia also. So that is whenever you see treasure chests and carnucopia, all of this is coming straight from source. This is not coming from anybody outside of source and that's why it would behoove people to leave folks alone because you never know the type of calling a person has or the type of connection or relationship or high up in rank someone may be spiritually and then you casting all this hate and evil eyes and doing spells to try to block something that spirit themselves is preparing someone for like this is spirit giving you the victory this is spirit giving you this love healing thy heart giving you the idea to heal thyself so that you can really truly know thyself this is spirit protecting you from the naysays the negativity this is the angels this is your spirit team you know this is your spirit team they 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 gunning for you they working in your favor so the cards that flew out look at this the tower hello there goes the tower the tower speaks to this is how this person sees you you went through a tower moment why how do I know you? How do they know you went through a tower moment? Well, because they the one that put you through it with that 67. That's the death. Remember, 13 is the death. So this this is that person where something died. You know, there was a demise of a relationship, demise of a connection. Even if this is a friendship, it doesn't have to be love. It could be a relationship with your mother, your father, your sibling, a cousin, someone you was calling bestie for years. You know what I'm saying? Your brother, your brethren, your sister. This is that person. There was something that was tainted in that connection. But this is not the end of you. This is just the very beginning. This is the very beginning. This was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. A lot of the red flags, you missed it. And why? Because remember what I said. When you love as a Scorpio, you love hard. You know, and sometimes you will love people to a fault. And it always takes someone closest to Scorpio to transform a Scorpio, so to speak. Because only the ones closest to Scorpio are allowed in close enough to hurt them. 
And so, and, and that would really be anybody, but Scorpios are very particular about who they have around them. They're very particular about their energy. They're very particular. And so that's why it's usually, unfortunately, somebody very close to you that causes or triggers your transformation, evolution. It could be a mother, fris, uh, mother, father, sibling, friend, lover. It's always somebody in close vicinity in within your cipher that you've trusted. So when you've learned to let things go, and to not try to control when you surrendered to spirit, to source. That is when you learn to fully love thyself. As you can see, you're still a queen here. Even after the, the you know, and if you're a master, uh, a, a master, well, that too. If you're a masculine, a king, even if, you know, even after, I should say, this tower or during this tower, you were still adorned a queen, you know, or a king. But this water, you know, this water, you can see the water is literally almost rising. You know, it's rising. So this speaks to how deep you were emotionally, like invested in something. The waters ran deep. You was deep in it. And when you decided to let it go and let it flow, that is when the healing begun. That is when, with this Ace of Cups, you was able to fully heal thyself. That was when you was able to hear the direction, the transmissions, your self, your higher self instruct you to let what does not serve you, to let the people, to let the circumstances, to let the paint, let it go. And let's heal this. Let's get back to the root cause. So this ace of cups is you really getting back to one. One is the root cause of the situation. And the root just so happens to be the chakra Scorpio's are um, 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 rule and so that is all about life and death just like the death card just like the tower card and this is where you are now with the six of wands I mean the six of pentacles pardon me so this is now someone coming in to reciprocate look at the infinity symbol behind the coins that are being given so this is a reciprocal connection now so breaking free from those toxic relationships, friendships, work dynamics, love ships, and now coming into union with more meaningful, reciprocal, healthy relationships, connections. That is a beautiful thing. I love it. We're going to clarify these last messages and then we're going to wrap it up. And the Nine of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So this is why this person is seething. This is why they was trying to keep you with them. You know, because they see that you have victories, you have success. They see you living your best life. You're single. You out here ready to mingle. You're looking good. Your 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 mind is sharp. You know, you're on your your square. It's like you're powerful. You're standing up for what you believe in. It's like you're moving out here different. Your energy's different. It's beautiful. It's attractive. Look at that nine of pentacles. I can't make this ish up. Single and ready to mingle. I just said it. And there goes the nine of pentacles. You're now able to eat from the fruit of your own labor. I mean, look at that. She picking fruit from the, her own labor. This is what you're getting. And look at the wheel. Fortune, fame, victory. Wheel is turning in your favor because of your hard work, your efforts. You gets nada if you do nada. Period. You gets nada if you do nada. That was the name of the last reading that I did. What time is it right now? Okay, so we have the chariot. Didn't I say I saw the chariot? You bolted your ass up out of there. I was picking up chariot energy from this because the black and white horse. And here goes the chariot to clarify that message. Even though this is the number eight, that's like the eight of wands. I was getting like moving quickly, you know, but you bolting yourself up away from somebody because this is what's hidden. You're, you're now stronger, sharper. You're in alignment. You're in equilibrium. You're balanced, grounded in alignment. And you know what you want. You're going after what you want. You're being more assertive. You have that confidence now. You're the boss. You're the leader. And this is why somebody is up in their head. Look at that. And the nine of pentacles, this is like pre-emperor status. You've purified yourself. You, you have a, a purpose and a calling. You, you truly do. And you are very gifted. Your hard work is paying off. Remember we saw that 44 environment and I was saying you've been very diligent like you 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 kept your eyes and boots to the ground like you has been you've been working very very hard 
And look at this. You smiling, big old cheesy smile. You happy. That's beautiful. And there's a bird, so you're going to have some messages. You're going to receive good news about money. I'll tell you that. Some of y'all are going to learn that you, your taxes is coming in and is way more than you've ever experienced. I mean, that, you, that, that you've ever received. Some of you all are going to receive some news about somebody wanting to partner with you. Somebody wanting to distribute your products. Some of you going to get some, some sort of business uh, proposition. Uh, some of you all are going to make some really, really um, pricey sales for your, sh your shops if you have them. You may find people uh, requesting your services if you do readings or if you do anything it's just like you know it's it's powerful and you're going to be feeling very victorious here this is like a major breakthrough why is this eight manifestation and victory here for the outcome for my scorpios and then we're going to wrap have a message of love and a message of light spirit why is this eight manifestation and victory here we have a message of love and a message of light spirit my nose is tingling like crazy thank you spirit all right, and we have this page of wands. News is coming, beloved. Mark my words. You're going to receive some good news. You're going to receive good news. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. I can't make this up, beloved. The Ace of Pentacles. Talking about tangible prospects. My daughter's song was just plain. You've manifested whatever this is. You spoke it into existence. You asked for it. Spirit's like, here it is. And this is like even commitment. This is even like, this could be anything. This is like a new home, a new house. This is a new job. You moving abroad. You moving uh, to another country, another state. This is you getting a new vehicle. Like whatever. Like this This is luxury. This is like your hard work is paying for it. You can see like the roots of this, this coin. You know, he, he, this is from the seeds that you've sowed. And look at this devil. Oh, I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all? See, this person is a hater. Look at that. See what they trying to do. Didn't I say somebody that's like very cunning, a master, manipulator, a puppeteer. This is what he's trying to do. And I said I was seeing the devil. I was feeling the devil. And the devil showed up. And this is why they jelly. Somebody jelly, jelly, jelly. And it could be somebody at your job. You could have a hating ass person at your job. You could have a hating ass person anywhere where you making coins or where you, you, you know, resources, home, work, out in your community, whatever. But look at this devil. And, and, and I mentioned uh, uh, Aries. And if you look on the depiction of this um, devil, on his arm is tattooed an Aries or a ram rather, which is the Aries uh, symbol. And we know that the... Uh, Capricorn is the devil, but for this depiction, there is an Aries on. I, I keep saying an Aries. So for some of y'all, this is an Aries. This is a devil. This is somebody that is very, very tricky. This is somebody that speaks with a forked tongue. He's the master of illusion. This is somebody that look at that. This is what they was trying to do: keep you trapped. And what spirit does is like whatever you throw at somebody, they're gonna send it right on back to sender. So all of this confusion that they were trying to throw you. Remember I told you the 71 is like the eight of swords. That eight of swords is like when somebody is like very deceptive, you know, very anxious, up in their head. There's a lot of like mental conflict. This person also had this number two here, you know, which was also giving me like the eight, you know, because um, this is that person that was really like. Kind of like stuck in a fork in the road or in two minds, having trying to have you confused and conflicted with who you were, which is why there was a tower that fell to begin with. But beloved, Archangel Mikael is here. You have angels overseeing and watching this, this you know, this whole production that this person is trying to um, conjure up, and you're protected. Let me get one more message. I want to get one more message, and it's not from that deck. I just want to get it from the dark grimoire deck. I want to see more. Oh, see that? Look, I don't even need to get a message. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords. And look what's there. Off with your head, beloved. She's going to cut you off with Wu-Tang style. And did not say that Archangel Mikael don't play. So there's definitely a sense that you are cutting this person off for good because Queen of Swords don't play with nobody. She don't play with nobody trying to insult her intelligence. And this person obviously is trying to come back to play even more games. Very cunning, coy, manipulative. This is somebody smiling and beguiling fake. This is a fake person, fugazi. 
I was feeling that devil energy and voila. So this is your reading. They're hating because you got money coming. You're going to have victory. You're manifesting the life you want. You have changed, transformed completely. They can't trigger you. They perturb up in their head, driving themselves crazy while you continuing to move upward and onward, moving forward. So, beloved, this is your reading. I hope the message has resonated. If it does, please be kind. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Definitely hit the subscribe so that you can stay tuned to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you're new, hope the message has resonated for you. Hope my energy, the way that I read, the way that I vibe, correlates with your energy and all my beloveds that's returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace.